Hey everyone, good evening again. It's Amy from Eat, Breathe, Move. And tonight I just wanted to talk a minute about what I call being your own cheerleader. And let me just share this video into my group. Um, uh, this is something, this idea of be your own cheerleader is something that I've thought about for a while. Um, it kind of just became part of something that I do for myself because I don't, you know, I'm single, I have friends, but they don't always know what is going on in my life or what, what things I'm particularly looking to accomplish. So they might not know where you know, where I'm looking for that support and encouragement. So I like to do the idea, the, the idea of being your own cheerleader where you, you extol your own virtues. You talk about what's, you know, what's working for you right now and where you're finding your inspiration and excitement in life. And don't wait for other people to acknowledge you because that just, it doesn't always happen. I think about, even when I was growing up, the things that I was interested in, I didn't get a lot of encouragement on from my family. Uh, I remember when I was growing up, I played the flute and not, nothing, nothing was ever said until I, you know, as an adult, my mom mentioned to me how she liked to listen to me practice playing the flute when I was growing up, but never once, in my childhood did I hear that and just kind of other things like that when I excelled in school there wasn't a lot of encouragement when I you know got graduated from college and you know became a CPA those kinds of things I just didn't have a lot of acknowledgement around that and part of that's me too just because I wasn't used to that I didn't seek it out so over the years I've just really thought about saying what's good about me uh, and you know I've spun fire at Burning Man I've spun fire in uh, you know a bunch of countries around the world I've traveled extensively I've had adventures and uh, you know a lot of stories that you know can't be told and I I don't need someone else to really boost me up with these things so I just, I can say what I do well and be proud of it. And this really ties nicely into this trend that I see where people apologize or somehow deflect or demote what they're gonna say when they're getting ready to say something uh, really positive about themselves. I see it all the time. I don't, I'm not saying this to brag, but I accomplished X, Y, Z. Uh, this is an ego. This is me just saying whatever it is. And it always just bothers me a little that there's this need or this perceived need to quantify this statement you're going to make just because it's something positive about yourself. Now, would you say the same thing if you were going to criticize yourself? and quantify it like that oh I don't mean to be down on myself but I really screwed that up or you know I know it's my it's probably your ego as well when you try to deflect yourself or deflate yourself to some degree so but we don't qualify those statements and I have to believe it's because we are in a in a society we're kind of taught not to extol our own virtues which I think is ridiculous because if you can't say with confidence and clarity what you do good what what are we here for you know why do we have to wait for the acknowledgement of other people why do we have to discount these things that we do so well so I just want to challenge everybody that the next time that you say you know that you have a positive thing to say about yourself don't discount it in any way don't say you know I don't want to brag or I don't want to be egotistical about it or those are the two that I can think of I don't do this because fuck that sh oh 
probably shouldn't say that, but you know, whatever. Don't, I'm not gonna discount what I do well. It's not a flaw. There's nothing wrong with saying what you do well. So I just wanna challenge everyone to be your own cheerleader, tell people what you're good at, don't be ashamed to say what you're good at. So what am I good at? I, I can, uh, I do bookkeeping for uh, some, some people I know so they can run their businesses and not have to focus on this. This is something I am very good at. I, you know, I am super into nutrition. I'm actually, finally I can say good at cooking, which is definitely not something that I would have ever been able to say uh, even just three years ago. I could not, I, I, you know, I could cook to save my life. You know, I got food on the table, but I would not ever feel comfortable cooking for other people. And now I, I cook for other people and I enjoy it and I get a lot of positive feedback, but that took practice and now I'm good at it. So those are a couple of things. And you know, the list is long when I think about it, which I probably should write it out just to remind myself on those days when I'm feeling like I can't tie my shoes. So just thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really wanted to share this idea just because I just, I see it so prevalently and it saddens me that this is, you know, a societal conditioning. So in the comment below, I wanna hear at least one good thing that you're good at without any kind of qualification or discounting, just I am good at this and just own it. So thanks for watching. I will do more of these videos. I hope you're enjoying them. If you have any topics you'd like me to discuss, generally around mindset, nutrition, um, exercise to a small degree mostly just about how to get it into your day you know I'm not a I can't go to the gym for an hour and work on machines so I try to figure out how I'm gonna work out at home in the time that I have so if you have any questions along those lines put them in the comments below tell me what you're good at and join my seven day reclaim your energy challenge it's a free challenge that I'm running I'm gonna run it live in my Facebook group where if you just go into the search bar on Facebook and type in eat breathe move community you should be able to find it pretty easily. And um, that idea behind my seven day reclaim your energy challenge is that by incorporating small habits consistently, you can really make significant change. Again, I don't want you to think that you have to meditate for an hour on a mountainside or go to the gym every day or make these crazy gourmet meals. I want you to show you that making healthy choices is easier than you think and by making these choices you can start to increase your energy and improve your mood so i'll put a link to the challenge below the video and i can't wait to read your comments i want to know what you're good at all right well have a great whatever tuesday night here we are and i will see you again soon